Manifold pressure is just a reading of the air pressure in the engine air intake manifold, better known as the tubes that carry air to the cylinders. This reading is taken downstream of the throttle valve. It's essentially measuring how much air, and therefore fuel as well, is getting to the engine. So manifold pressure is kind of like an engine power gauge. With the throttle full open, the intake manifold is pretty much open to the outside atmosphere, and the manifold pressure will be whatever the outside atmospheric pressure is. It can't get any higher than that unless your airplane is turbocharged, since the only thing pushing air into the engine is the outside atmospheric pressure. As this pressure decreases with altitude, the manifold pressure, and so power that you'll get at full throttle, decreases as well. With the throttle closed, very little air can get past the throttle valve. As the cylinders descend, they create a vacuum downstream of the throttle valve. This results in a much lower manifold pressure reading, less air and fuel getting to the cylinders, and less power being developed by the engine. In airplanes with fixed pitch propellers, manifold pressure and RPMs rise and fall together as the throttle is opened and closed. So most airplanes are just equipped with a tachometer to measure engine RPMs. In airplanes with constant speed propellers, however, the throttle can be moved, resulting in power changes without any RPM change. These airplanes are equipped with a manifold pressure gauge so engine power can be roughly monitored as well as RPMs.